made a vow a long time ago that I would never, ever, ever get rid of a game, no matter what, until I made a video on it. And so now we're talking about cross purposes. 30, 40 something years later. Let's talk about it. What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Hi there, YouTube. We're back again today for another Thoughts of the Corner here with my good friend Adam. Yep. And we're talking about cross purposes, the more creative word game. This is for two to four players, presumably. It's not in the box or in the rules. It's going to take you about 40 minutes to an hour to play. And in cross purposes, you are going to have uh, 10 of these letter tiles right here. Plastic letter tiles. They will have letters on them. You're going to have 10 in front of you. You're also going to have three of these cards in front of you. And these cards are going to be uh, restrictions that you're allowed to do on the words that you can place. Because you're going to try and place words every turn on this crossword puzzle here. Which everyone is going to be utilizing. It's going to be in the center. And it's going to get more and more filled up as you progress. So if you're able to put out a word. For instance, uh, this one. You have to put out a word that has UN somewhere. So you could do understood. You could do underwear. You could do under. You could do gun. You could do a whole variety of different things. And they just have to fit into the crossword with the letters you have. Uh, but there's five different types of these clue cards that you use. Some of them are like uh, before and after type things. Some are like, oh, when you think of this, what do you think of? They're very interesting. And there's also some other minor rules on here, too, uh, where you can take letters that other people have already put out and change their words. As in, as long as it's still a legal word, you can essentially put out two of your tiles Replace two of the tiles already out there to, to fix a word. And then use those new tiles that you got in your word. There's tons you're thinking about in this older game. What were your initial thoughts on cross purposes? Uh, Yeah, so you start out the game and you're like, oh, this is easy. I'm just going to you know, put these out here. And I was even like, oh, I'm going to put this. Uh, I think it's in it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Fill it up. And I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to put this W right here because that's really going to mess with somebody. And then... Toward the end of the game, I was, like, regretting every decision I made in the beginning because it made it really hard to try and figure out where, what I could move and how I could put things in there. And, uh, honestly, I I really liked this. I, I thought it was super interesting. The cards definitely made, they brought something to it that... The clue cards that you have to, they're restrictions. And, honestly, like, e even if you played without these clue cards, I think that it would be a, a hard game. Like... At the toward the end, especially with three players, with two players maybe a little easier. Yeah, so that's that's one thing that you mentioned. I really like this game a lot too. I like this game a lot more than I was expecting, and there's a couple different reasons why. You hit on the first one. There's kind of two different games here. When you first start off the game, the board is wide open. You go wherever you want. You're just looking for the longest words. However, towards the middle and the end of the game, this gets super full. So every single turn, you're not only thinking about what words am I going to utilize, but you're also thinking about all right. How am I going to be able to replace letters on this thing in order to utilize those words? But then there's like an extra option you can do, which is that at the end of your turn, if you want to just get rid of a tile to draw a bonus tile up, you still get 10, it goes into a community area. And then everybody else has access to trading these tiles. So you never feel super handcuffed with your choices because you always have three cards to play to in different spots. But it can get really difficult as you progress through the game. And I also really like this game. <laughs> well, and then you might find a word, and then you're like, I don't have a category that matches that word. Yeah. And so I hold on to it, hold on to it, and then Alan comes in and sweeps in, steals my space. Scoring's simple. So pretty much how it works is if you make a five-letter word, you're generally going to score five points unless you use a blank tile. There's some blank tiles with which can be whatever you, uh, letter you want. But if you also utilize, uh, so let's say let's say you go right down here, and there's a word here, and there's a word here, and there's a word here, and they all make sense. You're going to score bonus points for all the words that your word is connected to. And I I thought it was a great word. It's one of my it's favorite word games. And the components played. are like high quality. Like this is a high quality board. You don't. This is thicker than most new boards. Yes, it is. Yeah. And like the tiles, they, they look nice. They feel nice. They fit into the places the way they should. I mean. Here's one house rule I would recommend. I think, say, I think two minutes. A two-minute sand timer would be good here. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. there definitely is a certain aspect where people can just, like, I, I'm not typically one to get AP too much, but it's just there's so much to take in. 
And that's one thing I really like about this game is because you are actively thinking when it's not your turn. You are thinking really hard about what words you can make, what clues you're out, what words, you know, what, not just what words you can make, but what words you could swap out and get, get picked back up letters. And in the end, I think this is a great game. I think this game needs a reprint, man. Really? Yeah. yeah. So, I always ask this, if I offered you this game, would you want it? Um, I don't know that with the people that I play with at my house that I would get this to be played. Like, my wife and I play Scrabble. This would be too complicated. This, this is definitely a <laughs> massive and step up. When you see this, you think Scrabble, and it, it is not like Scrabble at all. <laughs> it is not. So that's a no, but you would de- totally be down to play it again. I would love to play it again. Yes. Uh, likewise, I don't think this one again is going to stay in my collection just because I don't play word games terribly often. But honestly, I think this is a great word game, and it's just. I just don't see it getting played. But if you find this one at a Goodwill, if you're standing in a Goodwill aisle right now, you're sitting at the garage sale, you found out this wasn't worth much money, but you're thinking, seeing it, if it sucks, it doesn't. It's great. Yeah. Check it's it a out. Great game. Uh, so that is, cro- oh, the, the score pad. I also don't, I don't like the score pad. The score pad's a little bit. Fun. So they try to do something unique with a score pad where you're supposed to just mark off the number of points you get. So you're like, if you scored four points, you just mark off four of the X's. But it's Stay just, boxes. It's it, it, it could be more streamlined <laughs> and simple. But that's a nitpick. I think it's great. You think, I it's, think great. it's great. Yeah. Cross purposes, you probably never heard of it. But you should. It's it's a great little word game. Mm-hmm. But if you enjoy this content, please sure to click on the subscribe button down below. So I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers over my 10 year anniversary of making YouTube content. Also, in the comments below, let me know if you could make any current board game into a word game, what would it be? But still maintaining, you're just adding, so it's an expansion that just adds a word game element to that game. I'm going to go with dice placement. I want a dice placement word game. I don't have a word. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. Kingsburg, but with words. Oh. Um, hmm. Maybe like some sort of bidding game. Ooh. Bidding on the letters? Yeah. Or Ooh. Or on the words to create, categories to create. Mm. Bid on the categories. Hmm. That sounds interesting. Looks like that. I like that. Let me know in the comments <laughs> below. What's your, uh, what, what game would you do the thing to? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month, and as always, thanks for stopping by.